guys, welcome back. It's Shay. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me using all drugstore products. I decided to kind of switch it up and I tend to get in a lot of routines and I kind of like a little bit of a rut where I reach for the exact same products every single time I do my makeup. So today I really challenge myself to use only drugstore products in this entire look and I hope you guys like it. So to start off, I do not have a drugstore primer. Uh, for some reason I could not find one so I just went ahead and went straight into foundation and I'm using my favorite foundation of the moment which is the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion. It is amazing. I love this foundation so much. It's probably the only foundation I've used since I've gotten it which has been a while, like two months now. So, and then I'm going into concealer, which I am using the NYX HD Concealer. Um, I don't like these concealers. I had them once upon a time. I didn't like them. I thought I would give them another shot, so I bought some new ones because the, one, the ones that I have were expired. I didn't like them at all again. Um, I'm using the lightest shade for the regular skin tone concealer. And then I also got the lavender concealer because um, somebody I watch here on YouTube, Jackie, she like lives by this concealer, so I thought I would try it out. I really just don't like the skin tone one. It just does not work for me. I have really, really intense dark eye circles from having allergies, so it just, I really just do not like those concealers at all. So I'm just blending that in with my beauty blender, and FYI, I was actually getting ready, like legitimately getting ready, so I did not have time to set up my softbox light. That's why the lighting is really, really off, because I was trying to use the natural light, and then it was cloudy, and then my vanity lights made me look orange, so. I apologize for that. So I'm just setting everything with my Rimmel Stay Matte since I don't have like an under eye setting powder uh, from the drugstore. And then I'm using like my favorite new eyebrow pencil which is the NYX Micro Brow. I've had this in my collection for a long time and for some reason I just never use it and I love it. And then for an eye base or for an eye primer I'm actually using the Maybelline Color Tattoo um, in taupe. And then I'm going over it with a couple of different ColourPop shadows. The first one I'm using is the ColourPop show in Melrose and I do apologize Ooh, I apologize for the lighting like I said it is so orange but I actually end up moving um, pretty soon so the first shade that I'm using is Melrose and then I'm actually going over it with Crimper and then Koosh are the three ColourPop shadows that I'm using for this eye look I really love ColourPop shadows like I said um, while you can't find ColourPop at the drugstore, it is affordable, so I guess I'll be calling this more like drugstore slash affordable makeup, because these are really affordable. I think they're like $6 each, which is actually even cheaper than like L'Oreal and CoverGirl shadows, so I am just putting those on my eyeballs and rubbing them in and blending them in, and I'm not using drugstore brushes, unfortunately. I actually only have a couple of drugstore brushes, um, and then I am using my actual favorite, favorite, one of my favorite bronzers ever, which is the NYC Sun and Bronze and Montauk Bronze. If you are like a real legit OG and used to watch my like old beauty channel, this is like the only bronzer I own. The only bronzer I uh, use for the longest time. I really, really love this bronzer. And as far as blushes, I'm using two different blushes. I am using the ColourPop, ColourPop uh, Super Shock Matte Cheek in Aphrodisiac, and then I'm also using the uh, Sonia Kushik blush, and I am not sure what the name is. Oh, it's Casablanca. And then for highlight, this is the first time I actually used this. This is a Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette from NYX. I am using the two bottom shades on the very left and the very right, as you can see. Oh, this stuff is good, as you can see from my face. I think I put too much on. It is like boom, like crazy highlight. I absolutely love this highlight palette. I know some people saying that it's not as great as they thought it would be, but for NYX and for, you know, how cheap, it, I guess not cheap, affordable it was compared to like Becca highlighters, I really, really like this highlighter. And then I'm going back in to highlight under my brow bone. This is the Wet n Wild um, Shadow and Creme Brulee, which is like one of my favorite Wet n Wild shadows ever. Like, I, it's still one of my favorite shadows to highlight under my brow bone and in the inner corner. And then I am curling my eyelashes, and I'm actually going to be using a new mascara. It's the CoverGirl Super Sizer. It's the Star Wars one that came out around, uh, around Halloween, around uh, Christmas. It was actually in my Christmas stocking. And I actually brought out my other, um, what is it, the L'Oreal telescopic because I was not sure how the wand was going to be, if it was going to work for my lower lashes. I hate this mascara, guys. I thought I liked it, but after about three hours of wear, my eyes hurt so bad. They were so heavy. I tried it like two more times after this. I did the exact same thing, so 
just FYI, I hate this mascara so much. And then I'm just using the Rimmel, um, like the nude liner in my waterline. And then I'm going in with the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Nude. And then the lipstick I'm using is also, no, it's not Milani, it is the L'Oreal, it's the number 800 in Ferris Nude. It's from the L'Oreal Color Reach, uh, line. And then I'm going over it with the Nip, uh, Butter Gloss. I believe that's an Eclair. I don't have it with me. And then I'm going to go spray my face with the um, NYX setting spray. I believe that's the dewy, the dewy setting spray. As you can see, it's giving me a really nice dewy vibe. So yeah, that is everything for the tutorial. I'm sorry if I felt like I was talking fast because I only edited this video down to so it would be a couple of minutes. I didn't want it to be a really long video. And also, I apologize for the lighting. You know, I was trying to use that natural light and sometimes it just does not work out. So I hope you guys like the tutorial. Let me know if you want me to do more drugstore tutorials in the future. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye-bye.